Hello there. What's going on, everybody? Today I'm coming to you with the first order conversion kit unboxing. We're going to take a look at the first order conversion kit to get you into X Wing 2.0 and convert all of your first order stuff into X Wing 2nd edition. So, there you go. If you guys were playing X Wing 1.0 and wanted to wait until the first order stuff came out, this is your day. What is this? is probably the better value of the two considering that the resistance has only three ships included three ships worth of stuff included in its conversion kit and the first order actually has four uh considering they have the thai sf the thai fo the thai silencer and some other ship whatever the heck it's called the uh, upsilon there we go all right and i think that is everything in the box so we're going to go ahead and just start looking at all of this stuff. Um, first thing we're going to do, we have our extra little expansion stuff here. It's a separate bag. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in this separate bag. Now, this bag contains components for the Upsilon Command Shuttle, Silencer, and it's high FO. These components are not reflected in the components list found in the conversion kit. Now... The reason for this, I'm assuming, is that uh, the Upsilon and the TIE Silencer are uh, the next two that are coming out. I would bet those will be in the very next wave. We'll probably wave four. And so they're giving you stuff that are, you know, things that were probably added after the fact. Which means the TIE SF doesn't actually have anything in here, does it? No, no Thai SF stuff. So the Thai SF probably won't get an expansion for a while. All right. So we've got Commander Malarus. Here, let's uh, let's sit these down and we'll take a closer look at these, and then we'll look at the cardboard, and then we'll open up all the other packs. Um, we've got Commander Malarus. Oh, there we go. He's a first order pilot uh, at the start of engagement. He's for a Thai FO. At the start of engagement, you can spend a charge and gain a stress token. If you do, until the end of the round, while you defend or perform an attack, you may change all of your eyes to evades or hits. We got three, four, six, five. I just used. To, uh, I was playing around with him in the build in the, one of the squad builders the other day. Um, you can suffer a crit in order to have one of your other ships change one of their dice to a crit. Um, Lieutenant Revis. After a ship one to two gains a red or orange token, if you do not have that ship locked, you may acquire a lock on that ship. We've got recoil. Oh, great one here. If, while you're stressed, you may treat enemy ships in your front arc at range zero to one as being in your bullseye arc. So his whole front arc at range one becomes a bullseye arc, which granted it's kind of easy to get those anyway. We've got Avenger, who is, that's actually Captain America flying this one, the first Avenger. And uh, actually, I think he's called Captain First Order in this Particularly instead of his shield being red, white, and blue, it's just kind of black and red and white. So that's kind of interesting. Um, after another friendly ship is destroyed, you may perform an action even while stressed. And then we've got Captain Cardinal. And Captain Cardinal has a, got a cool ability. While a friendly ship at range 1 or 2 with lower initiative than you defends or performs an attack, if you have at least one surge, uh, charge, rather, that ship may reroll one focus result. After an enemy ship at range 03 is destroyed, lose a charge. He's going to go good with a whole, with a nice swarm of young rookie guys. And that's thematic too, because Captain Cardinal cares about the kids. He has a charity foundation going on for them. And we've got uh, Petty Officer Thanison, which is uh, that kid from, that was in like Finding Neverland or whatever, uh, that was in uh, episode 7. During the activation or engagement phase, after a ship in your front arc at range 0 to 2 gains a stress token, you may spend a surge. If you do, that ship gains a tractor token. So he wants to tractor people. Mm -hmm. And we've got also Hate. Now, this was a card that I thought, when it was blurry, was actually uh, Darth Malgus, but it's clearly not. It's definitely Kylo Ren. Um, that was in the uh, preview. <laughs> I mistook that card. Um, we've got a uh, predictive shot here. After you declare an attack, if the defender is, uh, wait, after you suffer one or more damage, recover that many force. Okay. Predictive shot. After you declare an attack, if the defender is in your bull's arc, you may spend a force. Uh, if you do during the roll defense dice step, the defender cannot roll more defense dice than the number of your hit or, uh, 
a surge. So that's kind of cool. Kind of cool one um, if you were to, you know, just only get a few hits. You know, oh, I only got one crit, but you can only roll one die. It's kind of cool. Uh, Biohexacrypt codes. You need the master code breaker for this one. You have to have be first order and you have to have to be able to take a target lock. While you coordinate or jam, if you have a lock on a ship, you may spend the lock to choose that ship, ignoring range restrictions. Oh, okay, so you can jam people from all the way away. All right, now let's look at the, uh, before we open up all the rest of the cards, let's look at the cardboard. I'm doing this all kinds of out of order, right? So here's the extra piece. We've got Fanison, Cardinal, Avenger, Recoil, Lieutenant Revis, TN354, and these guys are all double-sided too. So the cool thing about these, they're when you eventually do get these, like 354 will probably be in the Thai FO pack also. Well, he will be. Um, they're going to be slightly different because in this pack, they're um, the same name on each side, and that won't be the case in the actual expansions, which is just a just an interesting thing. And we've got two charge and a surge and a uh, tractor token. And let's open up all the rest of our cardboard in here. There we go. Getting all of this stuff open for you. All right. We've got all of our pilots here. Um, I'm not going to read all of their names. That's a ton of pilots. We'll flip it over. There's a ton more. We've got the big pilots. We've got lots of shield tokens this time, which is nice, because we didn't have shield tokens in the original conversion kits. There's the other side of that one. We've got our dials. We've got some turret arcs, which will be helpful for our TIE SFs. Mm -hmm. Now remember to read these little symbols on here to match those up to which ship they go with. We've got Reinforce, we've got the, uh, I'll show you the dark side. And then the backs of those, we've got some Force. No target locks in here, though. Really, no, and no target locks. The, none of them had target locks. The, uh, you know, the Resistance didn't have target locks either. That's something. I guess they don't want you to target lock, you know. I mean, maybe you have a core set, but I mean, if you're going to run a TIE Swarm... Wait, if you're running a TIE Swarm, you're not going to be, um, yeah. Yeah, no, you can target, you can target lock on the TIE FO. So yeah, again, it's something incomplete. If you're running a TIE Swarm of TIE FOs, how are you, and, you, and you're trying to convert your stuff, you're not going to have the target locks. So you're going to, that was the whole point of making a conversion kit so somebody can just jump right in. Oh, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. This should have done better than that. All right, now we've got, we're gonna do all our cards. Um, all right, we're gonna have, I'm not gonna read uh, all the details on all of them. I'm just gonna lay them out. We've got Midnight, Scorch, we've got Static, and Long Shot. We've got Muse and Null. One, two, three, four, five, six Omega Squadron Aces. One, two, three, four, five, six, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I got seven. Seven Zeta Squadron Pilots. Again, seven of these guys, but gosh, I mean, even if you have a core set, you're not getting seven target locks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Epsilon Squadron Cadets. Now our TIE SFs. We got Quick Draw. We've got Backdraft. Quick draw, man, with that initiative six. Woo! We've got one, two, three, four Omega Squadron Experts. We've got one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five Zeta Squadron Survivors. All right. And that's it for them. Now we got our Upsilons. We've got... Major Stridan, Lieutenant Tavison, we've got Lieutenant Dormitz, 
and three Star Killer Base pilots. Four of those. And then for our Thai Silencer, we got Kylo Ren. I'll show you the dark side. And Blackout. We looked at him already. We got three First Order Test Pilots and three Sinar Jameis Engineers. And then we have our two conditions. I'll show you the dark side and listening device. All right, that's it for our ships. Now we got some upgrades. Let's go ahead and take a look at our talents. Boom. Open up all of these. Zoom out a little bit because I don't think there's going to be too many new ones here. We've got a crack shot. Two. I think we're gonna get, we're probably gonna get two of everything that's not unique. Two daredevils, two debris gambits, two elusives. Oh, we got three fanaticals. Primary attack, if you're not shielded, you may change. Oh, so that's what's cool. I don't, I don't know if I've seen that one yet, fanatical. Here, here it is, if you wanna get a close up look at it. So three fanaticals. Two Intimidations, two Jukes, one Lone Wolf, two Marksmanships, two Outmaneuvers, two Predators, one Squad Leader, two Swarm Tactics, and to trick shots. All right, that's all of the EPTs. Let's keep going with. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Now here's see this is good. We're getting more advanced optics. Advanced optics is like one of my probably my favorite tech, and we couldn't get those in. Uh, they only came for the resistance. At least they only came in the conversion kit. Uh, you couldn't get them in any the, the resistance expansions. So we're getting two advanced optics. Two hyperspace tracking data, two pattern analyzers, two primed thrusters, and two targeting synchronizers. That's it for tech. We've got for systems, we've got two advanced sensors, two collision detectors, or collusion detectors as I like to call them. That's funny. A little fun. All right, fire control systems, two of those. Two heavy laser cannons. Two ion cannons, oh, we're jumping right. Two jamming beams. Two tractor beams. And that's all our systems and cannons and we're gonna move into torpedoes and missiles and all that other stuff. We will eventually get to the crew that are in here as well. Had two left in that first pack, and that's going to be our advanced proton torpedoes. Ion torpedoes, two of those. Two regular proton torpedoes. Two cluster missiles. Two concussion missiles. Two homing missiles. Two ion missiles. Two proton rockets. And that's it for missiles and rockets. And now we're gonna jump into crew. Crew is where it's gonna get fun. All right, we've got Captain Phasma, two freelance slicers. Okay, uh, General Hux, two gonk droids. We got Informant, Kylo Ren. Two novice technicians, two perceptive co-pilots, petty officer Thanison, two seasoned navigators, Supreme Leader Snoke. All right, that's gonna do it for these guys. We got our gunners. We got two hotshot gunners. We got. Three, four special forces gunners. That's four of those is nice. All right, is that four? One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, 
That's that's it for gunners. Oh, okay. Um, we got two ablative plating, two electronic baffle, two hull upgrade, two munitions fail safe, two shield upgrade, two static discharge vanes, two stealth device, and lastly, two tactical scramblers. And folks, I think that's everything. We are all done. Well, and I guess lastly, we have all those little things to talk about too. All right, guys, this has been the first order conversion kit unboxing. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out crabock.com and uh, you can hop in Discord and say hi to us all in there. Hopefully you are excited and ready to start playing some first order. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter that giveaway, hitting the subscribe button, click that bell for alerts. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons on Patreon as well. You guys are amazing. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.